Uh, sorry, have you been keeping up with the... Um, Kardashians? No. That's really what you thought I was going to no, say? No, I'm kidding. Is there a world no. that exists? That's That was my next sentence. No. I was going to say dog drama in the neighborhood. No, I haven't. But you were filling me in earlier about some... Uh, about some DD. Yes. Candace Carizales. Uh huh. Familiar with her? Yes, very much so. She had a tweet the other day that was like, email me your friend group drama, which was very <laughs> funny. And I laughed at that. Yeah. And I would like the same thing, but with the dogs in people's neighborhoods. Yeah. Because that's where I'm, that's what day of quarantine it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into all the, I'm following the dog drama. Yeah. Because there's certain dogs in the neighborhood who just don't get along with other dogs. Right. And I don't know firsthand because we don't have a dog that we walk right now. Uh But there's definitely dogs that are like, other dogs will cross the street or their owners will be like, come on. Yeah, yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. Don't hang out with that problem. Don't don't hang out with, you know, Jazzy over there. Don't hang out with Jazzy. She's an adorable problem. Yeah. Jazzy's a little rambunctious for us, okay? Yeah. Mommy doesn't feel like dealing with that today. Jazzy nips, and I'm just trying to get back inside because my sweatpants are tucked into my Uggs, and I don't want to hear your shit right now. Mommy hurt her back, and I can't lift you, okay? Yeah. Mommy hurt her back sitting down for a year. <laughs> <Straight>. <laughs> Mommy hurt her, hurt, her, hurt her back selling our Peloton <laughs> <laughs> to a stranger in a um, Ross Dress for Less parking lot. Mm-hmm. Um... So there's a dog in our neighborhood. There is a dog that everyone avoids, but the dog is so beautiful and I think just wants to play with everyone, Mm -hmm. but I think is, it's like a bigger puppy. Mm -hmm. I think he just fucks with everyone. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I get the feeling that there are some nice dog people in the neighborhood, Uh but that is not the majority. No, no, it's not. I get the feeling everyone is like inside, Mm -hmm. super familiar and Mm -hmm. comfortable with their family unit. Mm -hmm. And because we've, have been trained to look at every stranger and assume that they have an invisible disease that will kill our grandparents. <laughs> I think it's very hard for people to branch out and want to like make casual, nice chit chat mm-hmm. where we are. Yes. Hope is it th- different where you are? Answer on somebody else's video in the comments. Cause yeah. Um, Cause yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. But, uh, there's not much dog canoodling. It's not like a dog park outside our house. No. It's like a go do your, Go empty yourself yeah. and come back in. But I think a lot of like these dog parents, right? And I and I I'm probably I probably would be guilty too. Is like walk your dog and come on, let's go. Like I don't have time to like sit here and like if yeah. it's like later in the day, okay, whatever. As long as it's not cold. But if it's like before I gotta go to work and I gotta walk your ass, like let's go. Come Some on. Of the dogs appear to be like taking defiant stances sometimes Mm -hmm. like the little dogs a lot of the dogs in our neighborhood will have the the um, harness harness instead of like the leash yeah and they'll just like plant their little feet when they want to say hi to someone their owner doesn't want them to say hi to like me yeah (laughs) and i get it you don't want somebody like me bending down and looking at your dogs and doing a voice and i don't know man i think you're great i think i'm great too but they people don't know that yeah the assumptions, what do you think people's assumptions are when they see me on the street? You are maybe not the person to ask because you are maybe. No, because you're the type you're of biased. person that I'd be like, hey, hey, what's going on? Yeah. You know? Also, you are in the school of thought that I am good looking and yeah. you are sexually attracted to me. I mean. So I don't know if you are the best. I wonder if there's anyone I can call right now. That is maybe not sexually attracted to me. Going through my phone, I can't <laughs> really pick those. <laughs> wouldn't be able to pick a person out. But why don't you ask your mom? Like, if if she came across someone that looked like you? No, because there's a bias there too. Because yeah. she made me. Yeah. So she would be like, "You're at least half beautiful." Yeah. No matter what. Maybe go on. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if she's around. I don't know. I I don't. The people that are like weird to me are people that just like stare down when they're like walking by you. Like that's the type of person that I'm not like, like make, make eye contact. 
At least oh, like stare. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do that because I don't want to put pressure on somebody else to have to. Hey. Dude, the weird. Specifically about that, mm -hmm. having a mask on sucks because usually you could look at someone and get a full face of cues yeah. from someone. Yeah. So you could be like, that person's gearing up yeah. to say good morning. Yeah. But sometimes I'll be like, good morning, and people won't be expecting it and yeah. like at all and yeah, say that weird combination of like a bunch of greetings. <laughs> but <laughs> like, you could still tell though, like, you're fine today. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. No, no, not today. No, once. Uh, oh, I'm fine. Oh. Um, <laughs> but like you could tell like when people are, are like warm, even with their with their masks on, you know, like you still get the, you know, you can tell if they're smiling and whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, because of their eyes. Yeah. You can look at, see yeah. if people have squinty, bunched up cheek eyes. It's not even that, just soft. Like a lot of people aren't like cheesing at you you know i will try to over eyes over, if, eyes. over eyes uh if i'm if i approach someone mm -hmm. and like they have a cute dog or a kid yeah. and i want to be like, making yeah. sure that they think i'm smiling yeah i'll yeah. over eyes somebody that's, but that could be weird that's why people might not want to come up to you because that that could be weird you think i'm being weird when you over eyes that's weird no, but over like making sure that I maybe you're right. Yeah. Maybe I'm fucking just weird. smile like you normally would. It was funny the other day. Uh, I was outside of work and I was like walking in. There was a guy walking like towards me, mm -hmm. and like we made eye contact, you know, and like I smiled, you know, and then I like looked down at his shoes and he had like nice shoes on. And I was like, hey man, nice shoes. And he was like, hey. Hello. Hi, Gola. Hi, Mike. How are you? Hi, Gola. Welcome to our Hi. podcast. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah, what did I win? What did I get? <laughs> First of all, what you need I to get? calm down because no one's ever been at this energy level on our show before. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I had a question, a bit of a personal question. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to match up what other people think about me instantly if you were just to pass me on the street, like a neighbor taking a walk in the same apartment, uh, same neighborhood. Oh. Same block. Okay. What do you think people's first impressions of me are based on maybe what you have thought in the past? Well, I met you walking by me on the street by the improv. Tight. That's how I met you. So what was your first, um, just based on appearances alone, what was your first impression? I wanted your hair routine. <laughs> That's nice. So the first impression was a positive and inquisitive one. Immediately positive. You don't immediately get, mm, maybe I don't want this guy to pet my dog. No, never, never. Your hair was flowing in the wind. You had a hood on. You were holding your camera. I was like, this is a really cool dude. Man, and his hair is really nice. Honestly, Zoya, good job. <laughs> thanks. You know how hard it is to get your hair to flow in the wind and wear a hoodie at the same time? What? All right, man. Well, thank you very much for being honest. Thank you. Thank you. And you guys know my address. Send me my prize. Okay, I love you guys. Okay, Glad say you your know. address real quick out loud on the okay. show for everyone. Really quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you later, dude. Bye. Bye. Okay, so, so that's nice. Yeah. Maybe I'm you're, not maybe I have a different opinion of myself. Yeah, I mean you're not you're not as like you're an approachable guy. You know what I mean? Like you are very I don't want that all the time. No, you, but you can also you know, when you have your mean mug on, sure, like, mm -hmm. you don't look very approachable all the time. Mean mug? Yeah. My nicely shaped arms and my tattoos. Visible tattoos. Yeah, but your your tattoos aren't visible all the time. When I, when I, when it's on purpose. And no smiling is airport face. No oh, one talk to me. Yeah. No, thank you. My airport face is... Yes. But I think when Super. I smile, I'm approachable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. But I think most, grand. most when you don't want to be approached, you like have this. You know, your brows are like yeah. scrunched in, and it works. Hmm. I like that it works. He's got like a cocky face. <laughs> like I just found yeah. shit. Yeah. Where this shit in his pocket. From? Yeah. <laughs> in my pocket. In his pocket. What the fuck? Who shit in my fucking Who pocket? Shits in pockets.